Hi there. In this video, we are going to see how can we import requests from browser within Postman. The technology that is going to support that is curl, which is client URL. And here are the steps which we have to follow to, co to copy the, the curl command and paste it into Postman. All right, let's quickly see that into action. So we'll open our request.in website my network tab is already open in the developers toolbar so i am going to clear that so you have to click on this preserve log okay so now this is clear when i click on this get button okay and i have to clear this so this is the request that i want to capture click on that you see this right and this is my request now to the right click on this click on copy and copy as curl okay now let's understand this request first and so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste that so you see this is the format that this this request is following so it starts with curl right then the url right and hyphen h stands for headers so these are the headers right now if you are working on window and have already installed git bash what you can do is so you can say curl hyphen hyphen help and this will tell you all those arguments that you can pass okay so what we are seeing here is hyphen h let's find out what this hyphen h is all about so hyphen h stands for headers okay so therefore i said we are passing headers okay so it's not like you know just do the copy and paste it into postman without knowing what you are actually doing and let's do one more thing so i'm going to copy this okay the step is click on this import okay and click on draw text and here also you could see that they have mentioned how you can paste your so now paste it and click on this continue button click on import and you see this error okay so you require some kind of curl knowledge actually to make sure that you can quickly fix those now click on import go to the raw text paste that again and these characters are causing the problem all right so therefore do this replace all that by nothing so copy come here paste click on continue import oh so it's add it to your postman click on send you get the response back okay so this is how you are going to import it now couple of things so let's do the same here on the postman eco website and this is the request right and they have provided us the curl so let's copy that come here click on import raw text paste it so you see it continue import a request is added like this you click on send so i guess now you have the idea about curl and how you can import those curl command from from your browser right uh, all right so this is the website about curl this is a command line tool and library for transferring data with urls okay and it supports all these different type of protocols it's a free and open source software if you have git bash right uh, what you can essentially do is so let me clear that and we have copied something from postman right so if you hit enter here also you can as you could see generate the result right so you can execute your http request from your git bash using curl okay so that's about curl uh, so anytime you do the copy you know paste in the notepad and just try to learn something from it right so all you have to do is curl help whatever flag that you see you know just run this command and check the the purpose of that flag okay uh, and so we talked about this uh, right now uh, this this copy as curl again on the same website you could find you can you could see that copy as curl command is available uh, in the firefox right and 
from chrome also you can do this copy l curl and from safari also right so it's available in all three browsers okay and it's not just that what you can do with that is so you can convert your curl to any specific programming language for example python right so if we come here okay and let's paste the the command which we copied from here click here click on this and this is the code that is generated for node.js you can now from here change to python so this is your python code so your curl commands can be converted to other uh, you know uh, programming languages as well so this is about copying your request from your browser into your postman all right thank you so much thanks for watching bye bye